I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Stephen here, welcome back to yet another player review and today we are going to be reviewing the brand new Summer Heat uh, voting winner, winner of the vote, Kimbembe. He was the one that I voted for and I don't, like, I'm not going to do this all the time just because I voted for him and he won doesn't mean I'm going to complete it every time, you know, like, it's either me vote for a player or me not vote for a player and just let it go. I, I voted for him because he actually fit the team on my account very very well in fact it was perfect uh, i had the gold standard gold diallo and he was the only weak link in the entire team realistically anyway um for fun purposes i don't play with this team in in weekend league i don't try and compete necessarily i literally just play with it every now and again because it's got a couple of players in it i enjoy using and it's quite easy to fit in players from other leagues to review as well so that's why. Anyway, uh, th that this basically completes my journey on FIFA 20 on this account. That it's like I've played like less than 300 games on the entire account. Maybe less than 200. I'm not sure. No, I think it's just about 250. There or thereabouts. And my team is at a point where I'm happy to just say, right, well, I'm done on this account. It it's my content account, but it is what it is. This card is around 150, 160k. I think that's quite good. I actually got maybe between 10 and 20 Ks worth of stuff out of the packs as well. It was nothing crazy, just like one silver that sold for 5K. A few other cards here or there that were quite decent. So I say quite decent, literally like, you know, some of the 82s that are selling for, uh, so that are selling for a lot. You know, I, I got a, or by selling for, a, I say a lot, you know, selling for a little bit. I got a couple of them. So, you know, th this SBC effectively cost me like, what, 130, 120 maybe? Which I think is actually quite good. I mean, you can't guarantee you're going to get anything out of packs. But with fodder being unreal price right now, even if you get an 80 rated card from one of the top five leagues, chances are he's going to be worth one or two thousand coins. You do that three or four times in the two packs that you get and job done. You've, you've made over 10k back. So you can, I, I would say that you can almost bank that to be fair. Uh, three star weak foot skill moves kind of irrelevant for a center back. They are two star anyway. High defensive work rate, high and average body type, six foot two. As a centre-back, that's fine. You know, if, if he was a CDM or if he was a CM or a CAM, that would be horrific. CDM, not so much, but CM and CAM and forward is just, that's awful. Six foot two, you, do, you don't want it anywhere near you. I did Fabinho the other day, and he's been my centre-back on my road to glory for a couple of days, and nothing gets past him. Very similar player here with Kimbembe. They're both very strong. They're, they're defensive positioning and, and intelligence in that sense. Very, very good. Obviously, Fabinho isn't a centre-back. He's off chem there. So, Kimbembe, realistically, should be better than Fabinho in terms of um, in terms of being a centre-back. But, I mean, it is FIFA at the end of the day. So, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. But, uh, you've got to remember that he's left-footed. His short passing, or immediate short passing and long passing, actually, is very good. 95 and 90. But, his vision isn't very good. So, playing it out from the back. Keep it simple. Go out to the wings. Very rarely do I try and pass up the middle necessarily because it's very easy to lose the ball that way. But obviously, each given situation is going to be different. The pace is electric. 85 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. He's not going to feel Ryan Kent or Olmo fast. However, he is still very, very quick for a centre-back. His agility is 90 as well, which helps a lot. Unfortunately, he only has 76 balance, which, I mean, you, you could say it's a downside if you really want to. I, I don't really think it's the end of the world. Obviously, chem styles, it's, it's what you want to do at the end of the day. It is literally all down to you. He's a 93 rated card anyway. If you want to try and improve that vision slightly, I wouldn't bother to be fair because it's very rare you're going to be playing a killer ball out from the back with a centre back unless you play an unbelievably high line, which realistically you shouldn't be doing. Although you could probably get away with, with a card of this uh, calibre. I mean, Shadow, yeah, sure. 97 rated centre back, 99 pace and acceleration or sprint speed acceleration. Almost 99 across the board for everything else. I mean, realistically, uh, you want to be doing either maybe like a, an anchor, uh, which boosts the strength to 99, jumping 97, all the defensive stats go to 99, and then you get a nice little pace or sprint speed and acceleration boost, and he, you get a 98 rated center back. Anchor's obviously what we've gone with. It's the best chem style to use for this card. However, if you feel like maybe on the jockey, which is, of course, LT or L2, depending on 
on your platform. I don't know what it is on keyboard if you're on PC. Just use a controller. Don't be weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't... I, I didn't have a problem with it personally. But if you feel like it's a problem, then you might want to look into something like a Guardian. But then what you really want to do with a, um, with another chem style is trying to boost the, the balance as well. So I know it's going to sound stupid, but something like an artist which will give you 99 agility and 81 balance you get 87 vision as well he's only a 94 rated center back and then you could maybe get away with playing him as a cdm but if you don't want to put an anchor on him and you just need that extra mobility at the back for whatever reason that might be the way forward i'm not saying it is but it might be if you are feeling a little bit frisky artist realistically though is the only one because a guardian doesn't touch the balance so i wouldn't bother but having said that anchors what i went with anyway so question is he any good is he worth what 150 160k i'm not going to count what you get back for packs because you never know you might literally pack every single card that is worth discard value right so is he worth 150 60k in my honest opinion yes yes he is i i think he's a really good center back him and fabinho at the back would be unreal uh, of course i didn't have that i had uh, him and adrissa gay who very much like Fabinho isn't uh, a centre back, and they're both sort of CDMs that I've put there off chem. Uh, Adrissa Gay is a workhorse of a centre back. He just he the tank and the engine on him is unreal. He can run for days. Kimbembe has it, but not maybe to that extent because he's not you know he's a centre back. He's not built for mobility. So when it comes to tracking back and uh, and and sort of jockeying and and trying to cut passing lanes and stuff, he's very quick. Very mobile, very agile. You can move him around easily enough. But if you have a player like Adrissa Gay next to him, you realize the difference in quality. If you had someone who was maybe six foot, who had better agility and balance, there would be a, a massive difference. And that's what Adrissa Gay brings to the table there. I'm not saying get Adrissa Gay instead of Kimbembe. I'm just saying if you want a, a, a little comparison then on how he feels... Uh, I would I would be yeah compare Adrissa Gay's team of the season and Kimbembe's summer heat and uh, yeah Adrissa Gay is better at doing sort of the cut passing lanes and jockeying and stuff but in terms of just interceptions shot blocks just stand tackles sli last ditch slide tackles my god this guy can do it he gave away he gave away a couple of um, free kicks I think maybe a penalty at one point the guy didn't score it so I wasn't too like paying too much attention to it but the, the annoying thing about this game is you can go in and make the cleanest challenge you've ever seen. Take the ball, and I literally, sometimes I just stop and I clap, and I'm like, wow, that is a great tackle. Sometimes I get more pleasure from getting a well-timed challenge to stop my opponent from taking the shot right at the end of the game or at any point during the game to maybe get a goal. And we, we come out with the ball, and then the referee blows the whistle, and he's like, oh, red card. And he's like, what are you talking about? He didn't get a red card, but you know what I mean. Really frustrating um, referee decisions i guess uh now and again i had one with fabinho the other day he took the ball it was so clean the guy ran he, he sort of overhit it uh, uh, fabinho went in took the ball and the man went over even though the ball was well away from him at that point and then he sprinted into fabinho referee gave a free kick and he scored i was falling up that wasn't the point i was still angry about it the guy then ran to the camera, celebrated, or rather ran toward the camera, started celebrating, and then sort of led down as if he had his hands behind his head like he was on a beach. You know, like that kind of like really salty celebration people do when, you know, you've been salty to them and then they're salty back and they've just beaten you. He was 4-1 down in the 89th minute and he did. I don't get it. Anyway, Kimbembe. Uh, weaknesses. Let's quickly run through them because to be fair, there aren't any. If, if the weak foot bothers you, you know, put it down as a weakness, I guess. It didn't bother me personally. Playing him on the left-hand side of the two centre-back pairing. Didn't have a problem paying it out wide to Mendy. Obviously, Hernandez is normally there, but Mendy was there just for objective purposes. Uh, yeah, didn't have a problem. Just play it out to Mendy, get it out, and, and let Mendy do the rest, really. Of course, if you have the better Mendy, you'll have a, a better um, experience by getting that ball out from the back. But his passing didn't bother me. Weak foot didn't bother me. Don't try ridiculous over-the-top through balls and you'll be fine. His balance, I mean, now and again, if he goes shoulder-to-shoulder shoulder with Ebra, for example, you can lose the battle. The, the thing is with people with low balance, and Ebra is a perfect example of this, Ebra has 47 balance. If he goes in for a challenge with anybody, and I was uh, I was reviewing that Paulinho yesterday, um, well, technically speaking, I suppose it was two days ago. Early hours yesterday. Anyway, uh, I was reviewing that Paulinho, who doesn't have a great deal of height to him. 
but has a decent amount of strength. Ibra couldn't couldn't handle him. Every time Paulinho went in with a challenge with him, Ibra would end up on the floor because his balance is horrendous. And Paulinho, who's like, you know, two stone wet through, came out with a ball and just sprinted away from him. So when someone brings Ibra on, don't be afraid. Get in there. Just honestly, get in his face, get stuck in. And Kibembe is exactly the same, really. He is a, a player that you can just get stuck in with and you can muscle people like that off the ball really easily, even though Ibra's got three, four inches on him. Doesn't make a blind bit of difference. The balance on Kimbembe isn't a problem. Anything 70 and over and you seem to be fine with, anything under that and they are, they've got a, a sort of a risk of falling over if you will. Thoroughly enjoyed myself with this card. Uh, if it fits your team, which it realistically should do because it's another French SBC, uh, if it does fit your team, realistically you've got a fantastic centre back here for about 150k. 100% end game, not an awful lot of negativity around him. And with a chem style, goes to a 98 rated centre back with 93 pace. Nothing I can say about it, really. Nothing nothing wrong with it. Just a solid card. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Did you do him? Did you not? Did this change your mind? If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.